bad, bad Coke problem in those days. But you bad, were a lot of fun. Bad, bad, bad Coke. You make me feel so good. Here's what we want to sang that one. Was that Michael Jackson? No, they're, they're ignorant. That's ignorant. Bad. No, that's bad boys. Bad, 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 bad boys. Coke. You make going me... up my nose. I don't know. Let's see who sang it. That was the Bangles. Your your bet is on Bangles? No, nah, my bet is uh, Pat Benatar with uh, Debbie Harry playing bass. All right. Hold on. Debbie Harry on bass. What's up? What's up? Something. It's just something. It's something. Here we go. Who sang this song? Oh, it's uh, uh, Tina Taylor. Bill, you were wrong on all counts. On all counts. Faith Evans. Oh, Jesus. A lot newer than you thought it was. Faith Evans, the one with Biggie, right? Uh huh. Jesus yeah. Christ. And she sang it after he died. That's a real new song, man. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Here's what we want to do as a new segment on the new uninformed. How bad after Biggie died was that fucking video when when Puffy did the whole fucking... Uh, I don't even want to talk about it. When he was dancing around to that Sting song. Uh, oh, what the fuck was that? I'll be missing you. Yeah. It's, it was terrible. I mean, it, it was, was sad that he died, but it was the terrible song. <laughs> when, you saw, when I saw that song, I couldn't believe that white people ever stole music from black people. It was that bad. It was so bad. He ruined. He for during that video, he ruined all black music. Just when the song was on, and then you had to remember. Oh wait a minute! I swear to God, my friend in college told me about that song before I ever heard it. We were high, and he goes, "You didn't hear this?" And he started doing the chorus, and he goes, "I'll be missing you." And I go, "Shut the fuck up!" <laughs> I didn't believe terrible. him. I didn't believe him. I was like, "You're. J I'm not falling for this. That's ridiculous." And he was like, "Dude, I swear to God." What do you think he did with that money? God only knows, but bought a house just to keep his suits in. I own 20 kookaroos. 21, sir. I own 21 kookaroos. Y'all don't own one kookaroo. Not one. Not one. All those guys have those crazy that's stories. What I, that's what I'm saying. Like, well, what? <laughs> yeah. It's just weird. I mean, why wouldn't you? I, mean, did, I hope he gave the money to, he didn't to Biggie's know. mom. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Maybe he did. I don't know. I shouldn't say he did. Maybe he did. I would hope so. But it was on his. Al that song was on his album. It wasn't like that song was, uh, like a special release. That was the only kind of. I'll be honest with you. Other than I mean, it's just shit music in every genre. But the the only kind of rap that I never, just had I had zero fucking respect for was when they just took a hit song, eliminated the vocals, and rapped over it. I hated that shit. But if you if you diced up like twelve different songs and made it completely different songs from these things like that Jay Dilla character, yeah, now that guy's a fucking genius. He's great. But I liked if you he passed if, away. By the way, I know, I know. I liked if you did I don't know a why beat, that was Joe. Why he passed away? Yeah, no. Florence Henderson. What What did she have to do with it, dude? How long you been out in this town before you don't fucking know Florence Henderson? Uh, don't talk. Don't yeah, the Black don't, Widow. Story. Don't talk. Yeah. Don't talk about he that. Went on up the, to her fucking house. Right? Don't talk Barry about that Williams on the podcast. Was in the bushes. He's still jealous. Don't talk about that on the podcast. Okay. No. All what right. are you trying to do? You're going to get us both fucking wet. So I danced around it. All right. Fair enough. You did. Don't you yeah. said? All right. Don't say anymore. It was from years ago. Uh, he. Here's what I like though. I don't. I don't mind if they. If if it's a cool sample and it's a good beat. Remember that song. Uh. Forget me nots. I'm not talking about a cool sample. I'm saying you just take the whole fucking song and just replace the and just chorus. wrap it like uh, do 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 can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. I mean, that was fucking Rick James. See, I don't mind that. I was like he. I was like he turned it. He turned it into a good beat. I, I didn't mind it. No, it already was a good beat, and it was already good. Like to me, there's a difference between. Taking a little bit here, a little bit there, and and then you actually create an entirely different song. For, for just to fucking play the song with and then rap over it, 
Sounds like something you should be just doing on a karaoke machine. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know where I stand on that one. Because I like rap songs that have done that, so I guess I can't say I don't like it. I like it. Uh, but that's okay if you don't like explains it. Explains why I don't like you. Bill. I remember Patrice. What song? What song did you like? The Beat Nuts had a song. Uh, well, you just took the fucking song. They had. It, they did. just rapped over Remember it, how like, Will Smith uh, sampled Forget Me Nots for Men in Black? Remember that song? He said, Forget Me Nots. Boom, boom. Oh, my God. That's a classic example. All right. Horrific. All right. The Beat Nuts did a song. That called- puts the whore in horrific <laughs> show. <laughs> the Beat Nuts did a song before Will Smith sampled it called Gimme the Ass, where they just looped that beat and rapped over it. And I, I thought it sounded cool. I liked it. I liked hearing them rap over it. I didn't like the Will Smith one. Though. No, no, Joe. You keep acting like when they just take a piece. I'm talking about when you just take the whole fucking song. You drop out the lyrics, and then you just rap over where they're singing the verse, and then you switch up the chorus and sort of rap sing your way through it. I'm talking about uh, that. Okay. Well, did Hammer like do that, that with like, You Can't Touch like This? Like that fucking Puffy song when Biggie died. No, that's terrible. That's every breath you take. But did Hammer do that with You Can't Touch This? I feel he, like he, he only went, sampled he that took... main thing. For like three quarters of it. I mean, it's the fucking song. All right. That's what I'm saying. Is the part in Super Freak... When he would dance crazy... Was that part of Super Freak 2? <laughs> I can't believe you're in a band, Joe. That sounded like you could actually sing, dude. You crushed it when you sang that Huey Lewis song. It's one of my favorite things this year. But when you go to imitate guitars or whatever, I have no idea. It's that a- what, did, what you just did, you know how, long, like, how many somersaults my brain just had to do to figure out that you were trying to imitate the, the part where he, MC Hammer's dancing sideways? That's what yeah, you were just yeah. doing. I don't know what instrument it is. It's a weird instrument. And it's like... Do it like, again. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> it, it kind of wigs out for a minute, man. It freaks out for, for a second. Uh, Joe, I think you're missing some notes in that. <laughs> I got sun. I got shine. Move back hardcore because I'm going for mine. Did I mention before that I can dance? I'm wacky. Flying up out the gates, a headmaster of ceremonies. You and fucking jabronis, ain't none of you suckers know me. I'm creeping, I show up early in the evening. Uh-huh. Strategize, mesmerize these clowns. Have you motherfuckers leaning heavily weeded? I'm wheezing and paranoid. Who's making noise?